layer shift is an effect where the motion is not executed correctly. What you'll see is that the layers are not aligned on top of one another. They're shifted. Here we've printed a cube, which clearly doesn't look good. This happens because no desktop 3D printer in the world actually checks if the movement has been made correctly. The simple reason for this is that 3D printers would become much more expensive. You also don't need it as long as you maintain your machine and make correct adjustments. There are several reasons for layer shift and I'll go through them one by one. The first thing to check is smooth movement of the axes. Feel if they still move smoothly. A little lubrication with silicon spray won't do any harm. The next thing to check is if the motor pulleys are well tightened. Sometimes people just forget to put in the little set screws. It can happen to anyone, maybe double check this. It might also be the case that the motor does not get enough power from the stepper driver. Repeat the steps of section 5.5. Check that the motors and the stepper drivers aren't getting hot. The last reason is that you may be printing at speeds which are too high. Printing speeds higher than 150 mm per second can also cause this effect. Especially if you're creating small infills, the shaking can get very strong and might cause some steps to be skipped. Another problem related to layer shift is the problem of warping. This means that the object curls up due to the thermal tensions within it. This problem particularly happens in bigger objects and is much worse in ABS printing than in PLA. The first thing to ensure that the object properly sticks to the platform is to make sure that it's leveled and clean. Clean it with alcohol or acetone, then set the right temperature. Experiment with this because it can differ from filament to filament and among different platform surfaces. The next thing you can do is to turn on a brim. This will increase the connection surface between the object and the print platform. Warping can also happen with large free hanging parts of an object. The material tends to curl up. This results in ugly prints, and can even hinder your extruder from moving, causing a layer shift. Preventing this type of warping is not easy. Turning on the active cooling helps, and printing at low temperature and low speed is also a good idea. The best thing to do is to avoid this kind of geometry in your design in the first place. Now I'm sure that you'll be able to solve this problem. It shouldn't happen too often, but the reality of any 3D printer is that you will have failed prints from time to time. In the next video, I will explain the problem of oozing. This is when the extruder creates hairy strands during travel moves.